Work besties, how's it going? I feel like we're due for a little life update, kind of catch up. So much has gone on for me in both my personal and my professional life over these last couple months. So I'm just gonna fill you all in. Let's start in June. I sold, got rid of, donated about 50% of my material belongings, actually maybe more, because I put everything in storage and shipped all of my belongings to the West Coast and they went directly into storage. And at the end of June, I stopped having a place to live, like a permanent place to live. And thus began the road trip across the country. So six days later of driving, finally arrived in the West Coast. So that was adventure number one. Still no idea where, you know, permanently I'm gonna live, but I had a couple short-term rentals booked. So basically think like week to week moving around. It's been a time, let me tell you. And then we were tasked with understanding where we wanted to live long-term. We knew the general area, but not the areas within the area, if that makes sense, of where we actually wanted to like settle down or it could have potentially got there and been like, you know what, this wasn't what we really thought it was gonna be because the area we chose to live, we had never actually been to, which is so much fun. So we're really happy with the area and thus began house shopping. Never been a homeowner before. We began house shopping while well, living short term, rental to rental. Keep in mind, we're still working, working on the road, everything going on, all right. A couple weeks of that and then we decided, let's go to Tofino. made it to Tofino and I've like taken a few steps in this place. It is stunning. Let's, I'm gonna take you around while I take myself around. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is like right on the beach. I did not expect this. This place is stunning. It's called Pacific Sands. What's this? Okay, wow, the big windows. I'm a sucker for big windows. Are you joking? Oh my gosh, this is like my dream. <laughs> There's a jacuzzi and a big bathroom up here. Can I move in? Oh, I cannot get over how beautiful this is. Like, I'm gonna wake up to this view. Look at the view you get. Working a bit today and we're gonna take some breaks and hopefully get out surfing. This is easy. We're going for a surf and every time I put a wetsuit on, I'm just, humble but does anyone feel glamorous in wetsuits i mean putting them on alone is like a humbling experience <laughs> i'll be right out there with all the other surfers day with a nice early morning surf we were like out there at just before 7 a.m. and uh, we got to check it out of here shortly and then we're going to the town over Eucalypt or Yuki for short which I really really love that area so if you come to this area definitely check out Yuki also this is my baby of a camera I mean it's huge but like my baby you get it Fast forward after Tofino, what did we do? We continued, we continued the search for a house. And you know what? The day that we had arrived in the area, a house came on the market and we went to go see it pretty early on. And my brain went, there's no way your dream home came on the market the day you arrived. Like it, this is, I didn't want to make impulsive decisions, so sat on it for like a week. A week goes by and I'm like, you know what? After seeing a bunch of other places, I'm like, that home had everything and more I could have wanted in a house. But still, I'm like, you know what? Don't rush any decisions. It seems too early on to have found something, right? Someone else puts an offer on the house. So what do we do? Put an offer on the house as well. But the offer that we were originally planning on putting, we weren't trying to get in like a bidding war or start doing a, you know massive price increases. No, we put what we were comfortable with, put all of our conditions, we were like, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, whatever. Just put it in, say we tried. Fast forward a little bit more. I've been working on a clothing line 
for the last year and it is set to launch this summer. So moving from place to place, we plan an entire photo shoot in a new city with work besties that live local to the area and we have a full on photo shoot for the new clothing line. Today's our shoot day. So I get to see all the final products. I get to meet a ton of work besties. I mean, it, it is, it, it's, it's a clothing collection designed for work besties. So I'm like, why would we not have it modeled by work besties too? So we got a handful of work besties coming. I'm actually gonna hand the vlog camera over to my brother. Let's go find him. And he's gonna kind of vlog for the day. So uh, we'll see how he does. Um, and this is, this is the little setup we're in. We got a fun room. That's the brother. People say we look alike. Different font. It took a while to figure out what colors. I knew I wanted them to be neutral. <laughs> How was that? I don't know if Laura wanted me to narrate. I'm taking the silent approach so far. Anything you'd like to say to the camera? Just Julie. Oh, there's audio too? Okay. Julie. And then to your inflection is they're all made from more sustainable materials, but not compromising quality. Perfect. Uh, yeah. It's open, <laughs> Yeah, don't put it that. You didn't ask me to model? I'm gonna do it anyway. I was waiting for somebody to walk in. <laughs> Um, at Lo Haley photo shoot. Uh, the clothing line is Lo Haley. Did you enjoy this process? I did. Do you have any more questions? <laughs> How do I turn that on? Okay, where was I in this story? So now we have come to the point where the photo shoot is done. It goes amazing. I met so many new work besties. The clothing line launches in a couple weeks and our real estate agent calls and they accepted the offer. <laughs> with, with no changes or to it or anything, keep that in mind. Like we, we went below asking, multiple offer. I think we had like five or six conditions. Are you joking me? I'm gonna be a homeowner, which is, then this whole other process of the mortgage rates right now are just absolutely like criminal in Canada. But we have to go through this whole process of getting a mortgage, getting inspection, getting appraisals done. There is so much more to home shopping. I guess it's, it's it was like a full-time job. There was just so much to do and it's so exciting. Anyways, but we still don't get the keys for another month. So we're living on the road and everything uh, and to, until we get the keys and just trying to figure out getting, you know, the mortgage together and whatnot. But now I'm gonna be a homeowner. So now I'm like, I've gotta furnish an entire house. So now I'm trying to think like, okay, I need to furnish a home. And I have a tiny storage unit which has like a couch and a bed in it. I've got a lot of work to do to get a home ready, but I'm super excited, I'm super thrilled. I could not be happier with the home. Like even doing all the walkthroughs and everything after inspection, I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like this was meant to be, like it, it wasn't too early to find a place. My dream home just came on the market the day that I arrived and it all just feels like it's perfectly come in, coming into place. And that leads me to today. Where I'm sitting here in Mexico, I'm at a conference that I'm speaking at. It's been so lovely. And I, for the most part this summer, we've been staying in like basement suites, really small spaces, just trying to save money. So trying to find very affordable spots for, for short term stays. And now I have this Beautiful, huge room to myself. I lead some workshops here tomorrow about effective communication and self-branding. And that's a little bit of a life update. Oh, I have another full-time employee starting for me in two weeks. That's, that's super exciting. Yeah, life's just been all over the map. And for anyone who's wondering, the dogs are the dogs are doing great with all the moving around, which thank goodness, because it's been a lot on me and I can only imagine how much it's been on them this summer. That's a bit of a life update for you. There's been a lot going on but I'm excited about it. It's all good things in life. It's just, 
It's been a lot. appreciate you being here and supporting me and being interested in what the heck goes on in my life so I appreciate that thank you so much and we'll chat soon work besties all right toodaloo